Hello, my name is Walter Postula. I'm with Sh Shell Global Solutions US. Uh, I'm also the 2019 meeting program chair for the AISAG at, um, Spring Meeting and 15th Global Congress on Process Safety. Um, today I'm interviewing Bruce Chen, who is president of Chevron Ornite Company. In addition to his responsibilities at Chevron Ornite, Bruce is a trustee of the AICHE Foundation Board and member of the Executive Leadership Council. Uh, today he delivered the Monday lunch and keynote address entitled uh, Inclusion and Diversity, an Innovation Imperative. Welcome Bruce, and thank you very much for being here. Thank you all, glad to be here. So your presentation just the importance of addressed the importance of inclusion and diversity uh, in successful organizations. Uh, what exactly do you mean by inclusion and diversity and innovation? Well, one of the things that engineers do pretty well, I think, is really understand how to frame the issue and, and really state a business case. And when you look at uh, our need for talent, what's happening with our crew change uh, and the current graduation rate, certainly here in the U.S., uh, women in underrepresented groups. Uh, I see, and I think many others see, a gap in talent that's needed. Underlying that really is the need for our industry and many other industries that utilize chemical engineering graduates and other engineering graduates to really continually innovate. And therefore, I think that one of the solutions to having a pool of talent uh, that addresses our innovation needs in our businesses really is doing a much better job at inclusion and diversity. By diversity, I mean really the mix, not only racial and ethnic mix, but a mix of different perspectives, background, experiences, and therefore then creating an environment where their voice is heard and they're a part of the equation, the culture that companies want to create. Excellent. I think you may have touched on my second follow-up question. Uh, can you give us some insight into how success could be built from these components of innovation? Well, well I think, you know, uh, when we look at the challenges that exist uh, for our companies with respect to innovation, uh, I think different backgrounds bring different perspectives. Uh, different minds and different talents also bring different perspectives. And when I think about certainly our Chevron culture and what our Chevron culture requires really is uh, making people count, right? And using that as a competitive advantage to really help address the problems and challenges that provide challenges and difficulty for us going forward. And so I think that's just an essential element. And AICHE is about attracting and retaining the best and the brightest. And I think when people have the freedom, they feel comfortable to be who they are, they're allowed to really address business challenge, technical challenges, in a way that they bring the best solutions to bear. So just to wrap up, uh, what are the main takeaways you want the viewers to, uh, to get out of this? Well, for me, it, it is, number one, understanding that uh, there's clear data that says that companies and organizations and cultures that have diverse and inclusive organizations and cultures perform better. So that's number one. Number two, there's a role for AICAG uh, and other associations to play in increasing inclusion and diversity in our industries going forward. Number two, companies play a very clear role in that, both within their own uh, environments and how we collaborate across uh, industries. Uh, I believe pretty strongly that this is a kind of infinite game that we all have to play and we can't afford to lose this one. And so therefore we've got to share best practices and collaborate well. And then the last point really is that individuals play a role. You know, what we do as individuals count, both within our companies, in AICAG, in our communities, and that we can bring and make a difference where we are. And it takes that, you know, kid by kid, really, impact to be really able to really change the trend with respect to women and underrepresented groups in chemical engineering and other engineering disciplines. Well, thank you very much for your time. Okay, thank you all.